Hi guys, Jason John Byron here. I'm just almost finished one of our latest projects, so I really wanted to share this with you. Um, that one there, which you can see, is one that's almost finished and about to be rented out, and the one next door has been renting out now solidly for over six months now. So these are the type of cash flow properties that we build. Fees cost anywhere from maybe 800 to 900 total development costs. So what does that mean, total development costs? It means that you're actually, it's almost like when you get a house and land package, right? This is what we're building here. We're building a house and land um, that's got a finished house on it with a specialized regulation that allows it to be rented as separate studios. Um, the easiest way for me to explain it is, this is one of the studios now. Sorry, it's a bit echoing here. But it just shows you that's the studio space that they've got in this particular one downstairs. And then upstairs, if we go upstairs, I'm going to show you four more. Now before I do that, we've also got garages. So there's one garage there, and there's another garage there. And you might have seen me talk about these before. What's important is to know that with these particular deals, the rental income. So I want you to really start thinking about this now. I want you to start thinking about yourself being able to do something like a house and land package. Actually, what we've just done for someone is exactly that. But you're spending maybe 800,000 total cost to produce that house, but your rental income is anything from 1,600 to 1,700 a week. So you wanna find out how much cash flow that is on a yearly basis times 1600 times 52 or 1700 times 52. Now, why do I give that type of variance? Because I like to be really transparent with people. I like to say that, that these will rent you because it depends on the area and the rental that they're getting, but pretty much I'm going to leave you off proof here. The one next door is getting 1700 a week rent, 1700 a week rent. And the total cost to the person was obviously putting an equity in so that, that might have been the 20% um, in the equity, but the rest was a borrowing. So the total development cost was maybe 800, 900,000, but the actual equity that they put in might have been 20%, right? Now, with those type of deals, what that means is that for the rest of their life, they're gonna be sitting in income of over 80,000 a year coming in. Now, as you start to pay that off, once you've paid it all down, you get 80,000 income a year off one place, more than 80,000, but let's just put that figure out there for you. And this is what's really important about it, is how would you like to have that all done for you? How would you like these type of deals found for you, produced for you, handed over for you, so you just end up seeing that cash flow come in? Now, it's up to you whether you do it under a principal and interest loan, or whether you do it under an interest loan. I'm sure that you can work out the repayment on a home loan, which would have been maybe $700,000 home loan. You work out the interest only repayment and you'll find that it's not gonna be $1,600 a week. This will be massively positive for the rest of your life because whether you've got a principal and interest or just a standard interest only home loan, these type of deals are gonna be able to net you more return than all the cost to be able to hold the property. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go upstairs, okay, we're still on the scaffolding stage here, so you're just going to have to um, mind me ducking and weaving, and that's what it's like when you're in the industry, you deal with what you can. Okay, now this is really exciting, because what I want to show you now is upstairs and what it looks like. So here is one studio apartment, right, so that's where, you, over here is, this is the bedroom at the front here. There's your bedroom as you walk in that one door. Then you'll walk through and we'll have your bathroom in the middle there. And you get this beautiful space here, which is going to be your lounge room, right? But it's a studio because there's no doors separating this whole thing. It's just all one thing. Very similar to a hotel room, right? And they get this beautiful view over the park at the back there and a huge big balcony, just like a really nice hotel room. So that's one. And we've got four identical as this throughout. Now, is this a share home? No, 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 no. It's not a share home. If you just followed what I just said there, this is an own studio apartment, right? There is a kitchen downstairs, which has got all the facilities if you want to cook in an oven and that type of stuff. But in here, you'll have a, a mini kitchenette as such. 
You'll have a portable hot plate, you'll have your sink, you'll have your microwave, you'll have your extractor, all those type of things, right? Which is pretty much what single accommodation, which is what this is focused towards needs. And then if you wanted to cook a pie or something like that, then you can go downstairs and use the oven. That's the only common area and a laundry, okay? But the rest of it is all no sharing with anyone, this is not a share house, I want to make that very clear. These are separate studio apartments within one house and they're called, they're actually, this type of model is called a rooming house. Only one council can do it because the other ones are way too complicated and I don't want you doing stuff there. So um, I'm just walking through some of them now, showing you different aspects and views that you get. Let me go through to here too. Okay, so here's one of the other ones. And then the last one is a big open plan one. Sometimes people want big open plan. Now the reason I'm doing these videos and showing you through all these things is because I don't like when people are limited to their cash flow that they've got out of their properties. I was talking to a guy the other day and I said to him, would you prefer to have two properties worth 500,000 each, okay, with an income coming in of maybe 500, dollars a week coming in on each one of those properties, which means you'd have two properties of 500 each and get income of 1,000 in, or would you rather one place at 800 with an income of $1,600 a week? See, property's not meant to be something, well, your house should be something that you love, but the rest of it should be income. It's what it should be. It should be an income producing asset. Now there's lots of different cash flow strategies that you can learn once you get into property. I've been in it for 12 years now, so I've seen pre from pretty much everything. But this is one of the best ones that I've ever done. And I've got a lot of these in my own portfolio and all my students are getting these as well. Because it's all about being able to acquire the land and produce something with maximum cash flow. That's why I want to show you these. I'm going to keep showing you these over and over again because we're constantly building them. One of the things that people also ask me as a mentor out there is, hey, what do you do? How do you make your money? Do you just run courses all the time? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but look, the courses are a great way for me to teach people how to do stuff, but I'm a full-time property developer. And that actually actually gives me time. So I, I say full-time property developer because that's, that's I'm always developing properties like these and many more that you'll see me walking through. So that's how I, I earn my money. And that's what I teach people. How do you make profit out of property development? How do you produce cash flow property, pro, cash flow producing properties like this one here? And then what I also do is I train people how to do that on the side. I pretty much retired after two or three years because I had cash flow like this coming in, right? So I didn't really have to go get the average job that I had before. But now my passion is about showing other people how they can do what I do. And I can't fit 50 people in my office, even though I'd love to kind of have all apprentices in my office everywhere, I just don't do it. Our office can probably fit three people in it. Because one thing you learn is that, can you see what I'm doing here? Am I building? No. Am I renovating? No. I've got a system that I teach people how to use with your money or other people's money, like investors' money, where the system is what you own. That's your work. You work the system, but all the people are making it for you. The most important thing to know about this is you don't need the skills of building. You need the skills of business. I want you to follow my business structure, show you how I did it, so that you're able to get more time with your family. The time I've got with my family right now, you can't buy that, because you can't go back in the future. Well, not, not unless you have a DeLorean with special back to the future powers, right? But you can't go back in the future and get those younger years with your kids. My kids are two and five, and I see them every single day. Sometimes I see them for the whole day. Sometimes I get so annoyed I see them so much. <laughs> But that's what the beauty of having a system like property and learning these skills is all about, is getting back that time, replacing your income with cash flow. So I've got a special event coming up where I'm gonna get not only me, because I told you about myself and what I do and how I train people, but it will require a team of experts. And so this is the event that I've got coming up called Cash Flow Producing Property Strategies, right? And it's a summit that I have with my top team now this is a 10X event. A 10X event means that there's 10 people speaking at this event. Myself and Amy is actually 11 because myself and Amy come as a, as a two pack, two for one. And then I've got my nine experts that I have been using for the last 10 years to be able to give me the team behind being able to do all this stuff here behind me. The builders, the, the finance, everyone that you will need to be basically a copy of me. 
And that's what I love doing. I love producing properties and I'll be doing it for the rest of my life, I can tell you, because it's just so easy once you get that system worked out. It's like running a McDonald's, just plop it there, keep it going, put the people in it and then go to the beach, okay? Um, and you know, I'm pretty proud of the steps and actions that I took to be able to get here where I am today. I don't, you know, sure, I'm, I'm wealthy, and I've got lifestyle, and I've got a family, and I've got and I've got assets built up, right? But I don't take that for granted, and I know exactly how I got here. And the one thing that got me here was one woman who was my first mentor who taught me everything like this, who started that journey off for me. That little bit of education, that little action step I took to say, hey, I'm not going to work anymore. I've got to find another way. I've got to find someone smarter than me who isn't working for money, who's actually had a system where it's cash flow producing. So that's why I like to tell people what I do is I don't show you how to earn money. I show you how to make money. I show you how to get cash flow over here. Sure, I'm passionate about it. Why wouldn't I be? It's changed my life, changed many of my students' lives, and what I, it's what I love to do and what I love to teach people. So look, this is just another project. I'm gonna to prove to you every single time that I get on Facebook or any of the other meetings or YouTube that the stuff that I do is real. Because a lot of people can speak it, but a lot of people aren't doing it. <laughs> the only reason I can teach you is because I'm doing it every single day. Multiple projects have done that ever since I started in 2008, never stopped. So, and I'm happy to share it with you because I might need you to understand that the stuff that I do is real and it, it is possible for you to do it. If me, an average guy who had a job as a cameraman and had debt and had credit cards and no, no, no assets, could turn my life around doing these type of things that I do day in, day out, then you can too. And this is why I'm really passionate about not only doing these developments, but teaching other people how to do it as well. So I hope you enjoy this little walk through here. Um, this is actually one of our students' deals. So I'm helping her produce this. Sometimes we do that for our students, we help them with this. She's in Sydney, she hasn't even seen the thing. She has, she's only seen my videos. She doesn't even have to be here. And the funniest thing is she's made a hundred grand profit out of this one already. So that's another thing I'll show you in the future. If you were able to produce these incomes, then, um, then they become very good assets for sale as well. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for tuning in. Um, any other questions or you want to get in on that summit that I'm going to have on this weekend in November, um, 14th and 15th, then you need to contact me right away. Don't delay because we need to get you in and start you learning all these type of things. And I want to start seeing you be able to ask those questions to my team and change your life today. Don't put off tomorrow because you've got to be asking yourself right now. Ask yourself a question. What did you do this year to improve your income? And what are you going to do over the next few months, the rest of this year, to improve your income? And if you don't really have any answers to that, then you need to. You need to start saying now, hey, I got some, probably some time around December. I get some time off. What am I going to do to change my situation? Because that's exactly what I did. I had to stop everything and go, if I don't do anything, nothing's going to change. So I need to do something. And that's what I want to encourage people out there. If you'd like to change your income level, if you'd like to learn strategies like the ones here that I'm proving to you that I do and I would make cash flow out of, then those are the people that I want to come along and I want you, I want to teach you. I want to mentor you. I want to show you how this is possible for anyone to do. Whether you have money or no money, I'll show you how you can make this possible. Okay, so I'm going to sign out now. If you haven't, join thinkpropertyclub.com.au. And if you want to ask me any questions below, please write them in there. And I'll be seeing a lot of people. We've already got, I think, 280 people registered for the summit this weekend. So um, be there. <laughs>